So last night, after 15 years, the colonel walks into my office. It made me take a good hard look at myself. Maybe I have hit bottom, and maybe I do look like hell. Lord knows the only exercise I've had lately is tipping the bottle and flipping cards into my hat. I gotta find some work. Contrary to what the colonel might think, I'm as good a detective as he ever was. Now I just gotta prove it. I'm gonna scare up a job today, even if it means finding somebody's lost puppy. The scotch guard that Rudy's upholstering service put on my office chairs will stand up to anything, and I ought to know. The scotch guard that Rudy's upholstering service put on my office That hutch holds a life's worth of knickknacks, patty wax, and the world's largest piece of elbow macaroni. This piece of art is called Two Whales on a Bender. This one really isn't art, it's a placemat from Taco Bob's. The UI of U was the only place that would accept me. Half the course credit was earned by locating the university. <sighs> Spent weeks earning this baby. Best 20 bucks I ever spent. Ah, uh, the fabulous Dior lamp. I bought it for 77 cents. CrimeLink computer is the only valuable piece of equipment left in the office. By entering suspect information like height, weight, and hair color, I can access the suspect's personal files. I love my comfy chair. I just wish it wouldn't be so easy to tip over whenever I got drunk. Ah, Sylvia, my ex-wife. Whenever I think things can't get any worse, I think about her and how she totally screwed up my life. She's a woman who loves a man, any man, any time. I'll never forget the day I came home early and caught her with the upholstery man. Oh, there you are. I just got done with the chair. I'll be sending the bill to your husband. Oh, Rudy. Let's not think about my husband right now. I was, I was watching you upholstery and you're so big and strong. Do you really think so? Well, yes. God, I've only known you for ten minutes and I feel like I've known you forever. Oh, yes, look. And look at this muscle. Oh. The way you hold me, Tex, Tex never held me like this. <clears throat> oh, kiss me, Rudy, and set my lips on fire. Okay. Oh, Tex, honey, I wasn't expecting you home so soon. Well, duh, obviously. Now I know why the Roto-Rooter man keeps calling and asking whether we need our plumbing checked. Well, I got to admit, those chairs look pretty good. Uh, thanks. Listen, how about I don't charge you on the labor and we call it even? Fair enough. But from here on out, Rudy, customer servicing doesn't include my wife. See, honey? I saved you some money again. Aren't you happy? I married her for better or worse. Unfortunately, it never got any better. Hip-hop English keeps me up on all the slang kids are using today. World War IV. A Dark and Reactionary Vision of the Coming Century by Rush Limbaugh III. I love murder mysteries. Ah, to be a fictional detective, everything would be so much simpler then. This cabinet is where my old successes go to die. Oh, great. Another incoming message that won't print out. If I don't get a new fax machine, I'll be out of business. Things look pretty slow on the street today. This pure mountain spring water is indispensable, literally. I'm out of paper cups. Well, that's not gonna work.
My phonograph's an old family heirloom. I love to play the classics. Cool and the gang, Peaches and Herb. That's the door to the street. Oh boy, mail. The dusty credenza I've got serves only one purpose, and that's to keep the dust off the floor. My gun. I love it so much! Old trusty sidearm. Been with me since the beginning. You want some of this, huh? Bam, bam! Hey, hey, Sonny, can you help me out? My girlfriend threw my gun out of the window. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just pick it up and, uh... Hey, don't, don't point that thing up here. That's not a toy, you know. Oh, my hell. No matter how bad things got, I always had my gun. Now I've lost that, too. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those days. Oh boy, mail. A pre-approved electronic shop credit card application addressed to the previous occupant. Just needs to be signed, stamped, and mailed. Hmm. Great-great-grandpa Murphy made it through the Depression by teaching cha-cha lessons to rich older women. He made thousands before the authorities found out he had no formal training. Ah, the closet door. All I've ever needed was a soft felt fedora, a well-tailored overcoat, and a comfy pair of sneakers. Some people know what they like, and they stay with it. I call this painting, uh, The Big Spill. That's a perfect bed for a destitute P.I. Small, lightweight, no sheets required. Another pile of garbage. There just aren't enough hours in the day. That hutch holds a life's worth of knick-knacks, paddywhacks, and the world's largest...
This here is my favorite desk drawer. As usual, it's a mess. Most of these desk drawers haven't been used for so long, I'm afraid to open them. As usual, it's a mess. Nothing in here but a stamp. Nothing in here but a pen. Nothing in here but a pen. This is probably the only writing utensil that works in the whole office. One last $10 stamp waits patiently to be licked and mailed. That's the door to the street. The office was actually a dance studio before I moved in, and Latin dancing is a Murphy family tradition.